Hi folks, back in the greenhouse again for another update today and uh, well let's carry on from where we left off last time. So last time, about a month ago now, um, I remember we were doing this. Grow little seedlings, grow, 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 reach for the light, reach for the light. This cucumber, definitely time for this to go out. Um, it's kind of crowding everything else out. I think this tomato's a bit too big for the box now. And I think the pea can go out and I'll probably leave the rest. My broccoli has sprouted. The pepper, in fact, I'll tell you now. Um, I made a mistake doing this this way because what I forgot about was that the seeds had fall down the gaps to the bottom of these pots and they weren't all staying in the right place. And um, really and truly I should have started these seeds in rock wall cubes or something like that to give them the chance a bit better. Um, don't recommend just dropping seeds into three inch net pots and uh, hoping for the best as I did here because I had to empty these out. This pepper actually sprouted, the seed was stuck right on the very bottom of the pot and I've been coaxing it to grow up by gradually adding more and more clay pebbles in there. 
But anyway, I think the job for today is to get cucumber, tomato and pea out into the pot outside. And to that end, I have the 3D printer busily whirring away at the moment, making me some uh, rain protection rings, and you'll see what they're for in a minute. And I'm afraid today's video is going to be brought to you with the aid of shaky cam, because um, my tripod's serving double duty as a spool holder right now. So, uh, sorry about that, but um have to put up with it. So you won't have seen these for a month or so, but I've basically got these finished now apart from cutting a hole in the top. And uh, I switched to a smaller pump and uh, stepped the heights. If you think there you are, so step the heights so they run down just a half a brick between each one height difference. But that seems to do the trick quite nicely and the pump can run for 10-15 minutes at a time. I've currently got both pump and air compressor set for 5 minutes on, followed by 10 minutes off. So I'm going to drill some holes in top of uh, the first three of these at least, for the three plants I want to put in, and um, get some nutrients mixed up. And before I forget, I've got happy looking strawberries once again. Um, I gave them a spray with pyrethrum powder and uh, about 2 million aphids fell off, well probably closer to 2,000 actually. And since then we've uh, got lots of new growth coming again. Um, everything's looking a lot more green and happy all over. Um, loads of new leaves coming. I took off all the fruit because uh, it wasn't really amazing quality or anything. But strawberries are happy once again, so I'm um, very pleased about that. Got lovely lush green growth coming through. And as it's a good day for gardens, the bunnies are out for a play. Here comes Cadbury. Let to see what's going on. Hello bunnies. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. I've got something interesting happening. The chance to be on the internet. Exciting stuff. Okay, so I've cut a bunch of holes that are the right size for these net pots, which is step one. And now I'm going to start adding nutrients to all of these. And uh, technically they're 37 litre containers, but I believe that's right to the top absolute maximum. And I think there's probably about 25 litres of water in each one of these. So I'm going to be using Master Blend Tomato Formula, as seems to be popular on YouTube. Um, I have recently found a UK source for the same sort of stuff. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head exactly what it was. It was Yegi Blend or something like that. But I'll um, stick something up in this video. And if you're in the UK and you're looking for a similar bulk agricultural nutrients that's uh, cheap and economical to use rather than the uh, fancy stuff designed for growing uh, illicit crops, shall we say, um, Certainly much more economical, this stuff lasts forever and you can grow for years for a fiver. So um, anyway, my mixture is 0.6 grams per litre of the Master Blend fertiliser, 0.6 grams per litre of calcium nitrate and 0.3 grams per litre of magnesium sulphate. So um, I'm going to need 160 litres worth, I believe. So time for me to get mixing. And there we go, nutrients done now. 120, 160 litres of the, of the good stuff. And uh, hopefully this, when I forget to do my top-ups or I'm busy for a weekend, well this should keep, every plant's going to have its own 25 litre reservoir. So that should be uh, pretty tolerant of poor maintenance on my part. Anyway, um, just about time to get some plants in I think. Of course, you haven't seen these onions for a month now either, but they're um, all doing really rather well. Looking fine, looking happy, except that one, which isn't looking quite so happy. No idea why. But on the whole, we're looking pretty good there. And just a very quick looking greenhouse number two. Nothing growing here yet, but my plan is to get this NFT rail in here around the outsides, and then I'm going to stick some lettuce and herbs and rocket and perhaps some more strawberries in there. Okay so now all will become clear. This ring that I've printed out which in hindsight I could probably have just uh, cut a section off an NFT rail but um, these lids are great for stopping rainwater falling into my tubs but of course as soon as I cut a hole in it this is then the low point here 
so any water that pools on the lid is going to be straight down inside the bucket but with the addition of that little ring and a bit of uh, silicon sealant um, the highest point is now here and rainwater will flow off the end and it will still collect on the top here sure but um, it will also evaporate off there none of this would be a problem of course if my greenhouse roof didn't leak but it's leaked from new and there's not a lot I can do apart from throw more silicon at it so I'm going to silicon that in there and then um, move the cucumber over now looks alright but the downside is I have to wait for that silicon to uh, set before I can use it so I think I'm just going to get the plants transferred over without the ring and um, I'll do that another day and terrible camera work here shot left handed but uh, yeah, the roots on this cucumber tell me it's definitely ready to uh, drop into here now uh, down we go sitting pretty much exactly where I want them to be there basically just what I'm after and the roots on this tomato are also looking pretty good there a couple of feet of root system on that I've got that one in as well yeah you can see happy tomato plant and here's the last one going in today, again with masses of roots, it's a root misting chamber certainly does the trick for getting these things started. I mean, massive amounts of roots compared to the size of the plant on the top, but there we go. Number three, looking good. So, that's three more plants in the greenhouse for 2016. Hooray, right, time to go and start some more seeds going now. Okay, so we're going to be starting off some salad bowl lettuce because it's the best lettuce I've ever had. A bit of gourmet rocket because it's very nice. So I'm going to plant some more broccoli because they seem to be having trouble sprouting. Though one of them has sprouted, but I'm going to get another one on the go. And this accidental purchase from the garden centre. Um, no idea. It wasn't intentionally grown, but we're going to try. It wasn't intentionally purchased, but I'm going to try some tomato costulotto genovese. Italian favourite flavour, so we'll uh, give some of them a try just because they were an accidental purchase. Right, get them done. Right, I think that's all my job's done, so it's uh, most definitely time to open a beer. This is some raspberry beer. I'm not normally a fan of such things, but let's see what this looks like. Coca-Cola. Anyway folks, um, hope you enjoyed it today and um, thanks for joining me and uh, see you next time. Cheers! Mm. Oh, that's actually very nice. Cheers folks, see you next time.